Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chance and today we are back with a brand new movie reaction. Today's movie is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Now this movie won last week's poll for horror comedies. We had about four or five different movies on there and this one won by a landslide. I did have a feeling this one was going to win. I've seen this reaction posted all over the internet from different channels. I've seen people talk about it all the time. It seems like everyone really loves this movie. I unfortunately just never got a chance to check it out. But at the same time, it's a good thing because I get to watch it with you guys. Now that is something we do here weekly on the channel. I do put a poll up that will have different genres within the horror genre, such as horror comedies, maybe zombie movies or alien invasions, slashers, 80s horror movies. This channel is strictly dedicated to the horror genre, so we try to be diverse with all movies within the horror genre. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and subscribe and click on the community tab and check out the polls that I will post weekly for that. But as far as this movie goes, I don't know anything about this movie aside that Alan Tudyk is in it, except for the other main character. I forget his actor's name, but I have seen him in other things but as far as the plot goes i don't even know what kind of evil they're fighting i don't know if it's going to be something with like an evil dead thing with demons or if it's going to be monsters or zombies i'm not sure but i'm just looking to laugh a lot and have a good time and see some gory kills so we're not going to make this intro any longer we're going to go ahead and hop right in wow music's a lot creepier than i expected Back up billy what do you say billy want to Peabody Award look great up on your... <coughs> oh, shit. Damn. This movie started out right away. Nice. Okay. Guess we're going back three days. The guy... The guy looks super familiar in the blue shirt. Yeah, the girl in the back looks familiar. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's Ben Stiller's wife, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that girl on the right right there. She was in uh, Final Destination 3. Actually, I'm not going to say in case you haven't seen it. But she was... She got fucked up. Guys! We forgot the beer. No! I'm laughing because they're making it seem like uh, these guys are all weird or whatever, yeah, but back. I'm pretty sure they're just normal. Hey, Chad, do we need more bucks? Chad? Chad get got already? <laughs> Why was he just standing there staring like that? This is your average college girls. There's nothing average about that. You know something, Dale? She's just human. Why don't you go over there and talk to her? So that's what Dale and that's what Tucker. In the world would I say? I don't See a chainsaw already. Girls can smell fear now. Come on. You are <laughs> More or less. You got More or less. Yep. Hey, start with those two things and see where it goes. We don't yep. walk over there with the fucking right, death scythe. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Whatever you say. Just smile and laugh. Oh, this is gonna be bad. You guys, uh, going camping? <laughs> <laughs> that made it so much worse. Whoa. This guy over here with his judo didn't didn't go as planned, but hey, that's all right, man. Maybe next time. Don't just don't use the safe. Told you, Tucker. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, I got you. Fear all over you now? Oh shit! Is that who I think it is? It is! Oh wait, no it isn't. I thought I was a different actor. False alarm. Where are you two headed? We are headed to our vacation home up by Morris Lake. <laughs> He's been striking out with the ladies. I figure a little man time might do him some good. <laughs> up there. But pain and suffering on a scale you can't even imagine. Oh, so did he say, like, in the woods? Oh, my God. It's perfect. That definitely looks like an Evil Dead cabin. You know what's funny? I actually remember when this movie came out. I remember seeing the trailer and actually thinking it looked good. But I can't remember any footage from it. Or, like, what exactly it was about. But if they're setting it up like this, and it's called Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, it must be, like, some sort of Evil Dead homage with demons, I'm assuming. Whoever used to live here must have been a, an archaeologist or something. No, they were a uh, demonologist. Yeah. Must have been a real news junkie, too. 
<laughs> oh, that is some Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Holy fuck. That was close. I definitely seen this guy in something in the blue shirt. I just cannot think of what it was. The fuck was that? I've never seen anyone take a hit off a joint and then inhale his fucking, or was it a cigarette? Either way. <laughs> Perfect. Put that back on. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit! I like how they're making it look like it's supposed to be Tucker. Tucker and Dale. Two guys. Ooh. Not bad. Kills in here are pretty cool. Behind you. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Only one person lived to tell this story, and their bodies are buried beneath us. There's a lake back there. Who wants to go skinny dipping? I do. <laughs> My guy in the striped shirt was very excited for that. He said, I am in. Any of you ever gone skinny dipping before? Or would you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not getting in a nasty ass lake butt naked, having fucking micro fish swim up my pee hole. Do Ow. not even think about it. What you just said? Are you kidding me? God, are you serious? Of course, they got the Paps Blue Ribbon in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm 100% sure they're going to think it's them, though. As a matter of fact, it, starting to get memories of the trailer. I think that was part of the trailer. It's the kids thinking that they're the ones that's doing the crazy stuff. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? Saw that coming. She didn't come up yet. Oh, Probably swam away, scared for her life. I don't know. She gave off Final Girl vibes, so I doubt she's dead. Oh, they think she thinks they're kidnapping her. We got your friend. Oh God! They got Allison. Why the hell are they running away? Hey! She's probably gonna see all the crazy shit around the house. Two, that doesn't help. One eyed dog. Please don't come for you. Uh, oh, oh, there's some pancakes. You hate pancakes. I'm, I'm gonna make you something else. Pancakes. <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> Ooh, bacon. Bacon sounds good right now. Just a big plate of bacon with some syrup. This music is fucking killing me right now. There you go. <laughs> Please don't tell me that you hate eggs and bacon. And then you He's climbed not... up onto a bunch of rocks and you slipped and fell and banged your head and then you fell into the water. And then I dove in and rescued you. <laughs> it's true though. They ran off into the woods. And you say just left me? Yeah, some people just... Are in, in the crisis. <laughs> <laughs> and they think you're murderous killers. What's your name? Uh, Dale. <laughs> Dale. My name. My name is Dale. Just made a friend. Good for him. Oh, this guy's gonna see the chainsaw and freak out. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that what the situation was going down, and I hear a chainsaw revving up. I'm out. I see crows and shit. Nope. That was in there. Is that a beehive? Oh shit! He's gonna see him waving around. <laughs> Came out with the leather face dance. <laughs> Is he gonna accidentally kill this guy? This guy's gonna run right into his chainsaw. Oh, he ran right into that. Oh, they're gonna think he did it. Look like Macaulay Culkin and my girl. <laughs> we came out here to work. Yeah, I'm around playing stupid board games. I saw your friend out there. He must be allergic to bees or something because he was running like a bat out of hell. <laughs> should go out there and find him. No, no. We'll go find your friends. You should relax. Tucker and Dale are on the case. Ain't that right, Tucker? <laughs> He's like, yeah. look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Sure. They fucking killed him, man. 
<laughs> no, he, yeah. he did that himself. This is what it's all about. It's us against them. Survival. It's you against them. Guy in the blue shirt is definitely killing somebody by accident by the end of this movie. Smart little college girl like that, and I was beating the crap out of her. <laughs> out of context, that was just so bad. I beat the hell out of that college girl. College kids. College kids. College kids. College kids. College kids. <laughs> Maybe we could leave them a note in case they come back. Right, with what? Well, this will work. Oh, God, what did they leave? <laughs> Somebody's going to end up in there on accident. Oh, they're going to think they're throwing the body in there? <laughs> Whoever wrote this is a genius, so it's not easy to make all these out of context and situations line up like this. It's very clever. <laughs> this is like final destination with all the accidental deaths oh god he's gonna go flying right in there isn't he <laughs> And it looks like he's putting him in there. What happened to you? Some guy just dove into the wood chipper for no reason. Some kid. He just hooked himself right into the wood chipper. <laughs> right into the wood chipper. This is a suicide pact. It's a what? It's a suicide pact. They're coming out here and they're killing themselves all over the woods. Oh my God, that makes so much sense. That is amazing. <laughs> Why does that make sense? Oh my God, I almost got a headache from laughing so hard. I'm afraid it's probably fine. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about this guy. This actor does look familiar, though. Not sure if I've seen him in something else. Oh, my God. This looks so bad. <laughs> There's no getting out of this. Oh, sir. We have had a doozy of a day. Real doozy. These kids. Started killing themselves all over my property. Yeah, see, this one's right here. He dove head first right into the wood chipper. She can maybe explain the whole thing. If 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 uh if I hadn't have knocked her on top. Oh of the my God! Use your words carefully. <laughs> Don't go in there. Oh, he's gonna end up pushing that beam, isn't he? And that thing's gonna come down and kill him. I didn't think about that until they started going in the house. That's definitely what's gonna happen. Officer, do we look like a couple of psycho killers to you? Well, it's... Oh, God, here it comes. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, no, no! Oh, 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 it didn't go... Oh, oh my God. It did go all the way through. <laughs> He's gonna end up shooting himself somehow, isn't he? Fuck you, you motherfuckers! No, no, no! Oh, you gotta take the safety off on the side there. No! Oh, he's gonna shoot himself! <laughs> oh my god, these people are idiots. Where is he getting all this ammo? Tucker? Where's Dangus? <gasps> I thought I heard something. Did he shoot the dog? That piece of shit. Hey, Hilton, your move. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. They got my dog. Shit. Did you bring that nail gun in here? Yeah, why? Hey, college kids. You want some of this? <laughs> you shoot at us again, and your dog's dead. If you kill my dog, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'll get really mad. <laughs> Oh, it is a beautiful day for a run, isn't it? Oh no. Somebody's definitely gonna die again. Running in these damn woods. Just the feet moving in the woods reminds me of Friday the 13th. Oh god. Please, no. Actually got him. Let me go. I can get my cooler. Hey, I got 10 to 12 beers in there. <laughs> 
they're yours. They're on ice right now, man. <laughs> he said they're on ice right now, nice and cold. No, that is not. <laughs> what did he just cut? This girl's been out. Like, for a long time from that shovel hit. At least it feels like it. Do some of your friends take medication? <laughs> Why? Because I think they forgot to take it. <laughs> My friends would never hurt any girl with the Jesus, are you? You're not gonna stop until they kill all of us, I'm telling you. I... Nobody wants to hurt you. Die, that sure sounds like someone does. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to them, okay? It's just stay there. Oh, they were out there. They left a message or some sort? Oh Holy God. shit! Oh God, they, they actually cut, cut off fingers. two of his fingers, his bowling fingers. They must have thought that you were trying to harm me. Oh, and why would they think that? Oh, now you hurt his feelings. They thought that I looked like some kind of freak. I missed oh. you, Dale. I... Poor Dale. I... My God, he's still upside down? It's a trap. It's a what? It's a trap. What? It's a trap! <laughs> There's no way they put this trap together. Oh, how did they put that trap together? I thought I'd say this, but I'm glad I'm not home like a bear. Let's get you down from there. Wait. Sorry about that. This vacation sucks. Oh, I was wondering where they were. Chad? What are you guys doing? We're saving you, stupid. No, come on, let's go. This place is really freaky. That girl's gonna accidentally die here in the next five minutes. I'm calling it. Chad, this has all been a huge misunderstanding. We have to burn this place to the ground. Will you guys fucking listen? <laughs> Tucker and Dale have been nothing but gentlemen to me this entire time. What, while you guys have been running around terrorizing But they them. started this. No. Yeah. What? I remember reading about this in my sociology class. Oh my God. It's called the Stockholm Syndrome. When someone who's been kidnapped ends up falling in love with their kidnapper. <laughs> Should have known this fucking oh my god you don't understand this or guy are you, or are you not in love with him what is the matter with you what are you tell me <laughs> hey! nobody wants to hurt anyone oh yeah yeah you could have fooled me fuck off right really? cut you off two of his fuck. fingers wait i want you each to tell your side of the story a long time ago before i was born oh my god we're not going that far back seriously you see my parents they were attacked by hillbillies just like him Oh, were they the ones in that story? They brutally murdered everyone just for fun. You think that was them 20 years ago? They don't even look that old, you idiot. My father was helpless. <laughs> but my mom, she fought back. And she escaped. But my father wasn't so lucky. Mess up story. Sorry about your parents. Ain't got shit to do with me. I didn't have anything to do with that. Okay, I, I mean, I, I would have been six years old at the time. <laughs> They're only in their late 20s. I can't even hurt a fish, can I, Tucker? I, I can't even hurt a fish. That's right. You can't even hurt a fish. <laughs> I just can't do it. So now that you've both expressed your side of the story, how do you feel? The, no side of the story has been told yet. Yeah, I'm good. Great, great. We're, we're really making good progress. It's showtime, freaks! Oh! <laughs> oh shit, baby! Why did you duck? Why did she duck? <laughs> Please, knock Chad the fuck out. Go back to hell where you belong, freak. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> I told you he was gonna accidentally kill somebody. Oh my god. These college kids are a danger to themselves and everyone around them. Oh shit. She is fucked too, isn't she? She said, let me get that last hit before I die. <laughs> oh my god. Cabin is gone. This fucking guy. Is half of his face burnt off? <laughs> yeah, like I said, this movie ended up being completely different in a way that I thought it was going to be actual evil we were going against. You know, like something like a demon or something like that. But this was just as good. Watch where you're going! Oh 
Oh no, Tucker. He took her. I tried to stop him. <laughs> oh no, I don't want Tucker to die. She needs you now more than ever. Especially because she always falling down and hitting her head. <laughs> knocking herself out. Oh, it's true. Do me a favor. Anything. Kick the shit out of that little college dickhead for me, will Please. you? Please. For all of us. Fucking throat. I really hope that's exactly what happens and that it's not just a metaphor. Got the hero music playing when he comes in. Love it. I'll show you a killer hillbilly. Give him a killer hillbilly. <laughs> I think that's what he's wearing on the poster. I'm really loving this movie so far, so I just want to say if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, that way you can be notified for all my future reactions. We'll have Black Friday coming out later this week. It's time to say goodbye to the girl. You shouldn't have betrayed me, Allison. Part of me wonders if the original killers ever got caught. Oh, that is dangerous, okay. Jesus Christ, where the fuck did he come from? Alright, it's time to go Ash on this dude. And hack him up with the chainsaw. Ooh! Fuck yeah, Dale, there we go. Ooh. Good throw. That's a natural born superhero over here. <laughs> Bring it, frat bitch. <laughs> oh, I love a good chainsaw fight. I don't think anything will ever beat the chainsaw fight in Mandy, but I'll always take one. Fuck him up, Dale. Why'd you throw it at him? You gave him your weapon. Dale, I was rooting for you all up until that point. Come on now. Is it bad that I'm still thinking about the bacon from earlier in the movie? Ah, there you go. The tea. I don't know how you're going to get him to drink it, but... Look at the guy in the middle. His dad was the killer? Single survivor leads police to the Memorial Day killer. Survivor is reported to have been tortured and- Oh. So that wasn't even his dad. Damn. That's a good twist. <laughs> he looks so funny with his hair like that. You're a hillbilly too. <laughs> You're one of us. Can't be. You're half hillbilly. <laughs> Pocket sand. Oh shit. Anthem is no billis. What? That's the that can cause an anaphylactic reaction in rare cases where people are allergic to it. But he'll be okay. Intellect versus education. Oh, oh he did. And confusion of what transpired here last night is still being unraveled. Wait a second. I just remembered in the beginning there was that whole thing, you know, before it said three days earlier, where somebody actually did die. Hey, buddy, how you feeling? I'm feeling high on prescription medication. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy Tucker survived. <laughs> they found my fingers. Hey! Yeah. yeah. I gotta tell you. I think that one is not yours. She kind of mentioned to me that she's a pretty darn good bowler. So, we're going bowling. I hope you don't think this is too stupid or whatever, but I got you a little something. Oh, my God. What is it? You know what that is? Yes, it's a, it's a helmet. <laughs> she's always falling. <laughs> I think, you know, it might just be better if you wear that every day from now on. <laughs> well, you are clumsy. We could just put you in a big bubble. It's because I don't know if we're ever going to get to spend this kind of time together again and... I just wanted to let you know that. Hey, there we go. Good for you, Dale. Did he punch her? Is he dragging her off? <laughs> what the hell? Wait, what was that with the beginning? And it said three days earlier. All right, well, that was Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Man, I had a lot of fun with that movie. That was way funnier than I expected it to be. And the story went somewhere that I didn't expect it to go either. I thought it was gonna be something completely else. And I was surprised with what I got. Now, while I do know of Alan Tudyk and some of the stuff that he's in, I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen him in anything. Aside from that cameo, I think that was him that had that cameo in one of the Transformers movies, like way back when. But either way, both of them did an amazing job. They were so funny. And I fell in love with their characters almost right away. And that really helped invest me in the story. You know, even though it's a comedy, 
comedy, I was still invested in the story and the characters and wanting to see where it went. Also, the kills were very well done. All of them looked really good and practical. There might have been only one that I couldn't tell if it was CG or not, but all of them looked practical. They were done very well. They were effective and they were hilarious because seeing these kids fucking run through wood chippers and pierce themselves with spears was just golden and I loved every moment of it. Like I said, I'm surprised we never got a sequel. I'll have to look into it and see if anything was ever talked about with that because I think you could make a sequel with it. I know not everyone likes sequels and sometimes they just want things to be left alone, you know, especially when they're this good, but I feel like they could do it and they could do it right. Maybe we'll see one day they will end up making a sequel. But other than that, my reaction speaks for itself. I had a great time with this. I don't really have too much else to say. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys voted it on the poll. Thank you for picking this movie because this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you do, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and then hit the notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified when my next reaction comes out. Later this week, you should be getting a reaction to the horror comedy Black Friday, which I'm also looking forward to. Hopefully that's as funny as this because I had a really good time with this. But that's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.